Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a product called the Ice Wizard, which is an ASEAN TV supposedly next gen ice cube maker, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. All right, so the ASEAN TV industry has a habit of solving problems that don't exist, like this earlier ice cube maker I did in 2018, which is the Ice Genie, which was an epic disaster. And even more shockingly is the fact that some Wish vendors ended up making a knockoff version of it, which is even worse. But in 2020, we have the Ice Wizard, which I was actually going to do in a compilation video, but after my initial results, it was so dramatic that I figured I would use a dedicated video just for this particular product. You probably can't tell, but it's actually filled right now, ready to be opened. And that's because yesterday, was my first attempt at filling it, which did not go so well. So let's check out my original unboxing and filling of the Ice Wizard. All right, so we've got the uh, Ice Wizard Ice Cube Maker, ergonomic, easy twist design. So it saves space, easy to clean. Includes one bottom cover, creates 12 ice cubes. One Ice Wizard, two trays, and two side covers. It says you're gonna save space in the freezer. There's kind of a lot of instructions for an ice cube maker, so I have to go in the kitchen and read those over more carefully, but this is kind of interesting looking. All right, I've read all the instructions over. Let me get started with the ice wizard. The first thing I'm supposed to do is turn the cap until this is aligned with the little drop, which is the fill indicator. You can see it moving. Right, so I'm at the fill indicator. But we're also supposed to leave it like that so we can add the water right in here. Pour water slowly into the top of the main body. It doesn't say how much to pour in there. I already see water dripping inside. That does not bode well. I don't know when it's going to be full. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling water pouring out the bottom. Come on now. It's just pouring out the bottom. I might have to play with this a little bit before I actually try to demonstrate it because this is just not working right. Let me turn the camera off and go back to the drawing board. If I get it right, I'll come back. I've got to get it right, right? It can't be that defective, or can it? All right, look at the instructions on the last page, the very last page is a pro tip that says, if you're having problems filling it, which I am, tilt it opposite of the fill indicator and once it starts overflowing, then you put it right side up. Very difficult for an ice cube tray. I also took the sides off so we can actually see the water going here this time. Let's see what happens. It's filling, but look how much it's going off the sides. What a mess, come on now. All right, after a little bit of practice, I got it filled a couple times, but it's not an easy process and it does spill a lot. What I figured out doing based on their instructions is tilting it for part of it. Yes, it is, it is leaking at the bottom. So now I've got this side filled up after it was tilted. So now I hold it not tilted and fill the rest of the way up. You gotta love this modern technology. They say to go slow, but I can only go so slow and it's still dripping all over the place. All right, this side's only filled up to here, so I gotta pour more in there. There we go. All right, after considerable effort, I finally got both of them filled up. So now I rotate it so this is back up at the top again. These weren't supposed to come off in the filling procedure, but there's no way to really see if it's filled up or not. It's a terrible design. I mean, there's no way to know, but we're finally ready to put it in the fridge and see if it makes some good ice cubes. And they say you can put it at any angle too. I'm put in my other ice cube trays just like this. All right, I'll come back tomorrow and see how they look. All right, so as you can see, that really didn't go very well. I thought it might have been me. So I went and looked online. I found an entry for the Ice Wizard on the Home Shopping Network. And all the comments there, well, maybe one of them was good, but all the other comments were pretty bad. People were saying they had the same problems I did, that the water leaks out. It's too complicated for an ice cube maker. But I did get it filled. I did let it sit overnight. I just took it out of the freezer a minute ago. So let's see if the ice cubes actually turned out. So according to the instructions here, to serve ice, place a cup, well, I got a bowl, underneath the ice wizard and turn clockwise. Keep turning until the desired amount of ice is reached. Well, it couldn't be more simple than that, so here we go. And, and it's stuck. Uh, did I just break it? Oh no, I didn't break it. Well, now this is all kind of wobbly now. Come on, man. All right, well, it is turning. Nothing's come out yet. I've done it a couple turns. The only thing that I've ejected so far is the top of the device. I haven't had any ice yet. Look, the side just came out. 
I'll leave that off, I don't care. Oh wait, I got an ice cube. The first cube has been created. Now it should be smooth sailing. I'll give it to them, they I, it did create ice cubes. 100% create ice cubes. Now it looks like I got some casualties here. I mean, the sides fell off, the top is no longer stable, but can I just put it back in the freezer without using all of them? Okay, well the sides went back on. All right, so well, we're doing it. And I actually was able to get it back together. So uh, I guess that's a good thing. Let's say it's uh, later on, I wanna get some more ice cubes out. See, now they're coming out easier. Okay, so I'm feeling it. Now no more is coming out. And this is already down to the bottom. I don't think I can turn it anymore. There is more ice in there. Oh, come on. Get out of there. There's the rest of them. Wow, that did not make much ice at all. Look at this. So I've got 12 cubes, but look how little they are. They're like mini cubes. That's half the ice cubes in my hand. So I have about enough ice cubes for two glasses of liquid and that's about it. Probably not much more than the ice genie was. Wow, that's not good. Cause you can't really measure cause so much spills out of here. I'm gonna let this ice melt, pour it into a measuring cup and see how much ice that actually is. I don't think it's very much, but I'm gonna go through the process one more time and give it a fair shake and see if I can make the process a little easier. I have extreme doubts, but let's try it anyways. So what I need to do now is turn that so this is back up here to the fill and it's not, it's not really moving. I took the sides off and I'm squeezing it so I can get it to go up there. There we go. So high tech. All right, I think I'm finally at the fill mark now. Boy, that's easy. All right, let's go to the sink and fill this up. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to have it come out of the sink even more slowly than I did with the measuring cup yesterday. Just like that. Hey, it's not, it's not leaking. It is not leaking. Well, maybe a little bit. Oh, this is gonna take a while. It's only filled up up there right here and it has it stopped filling. Come on, man. So now I'm tilting it. And of course water's dripping everywhere. All right, I think I got it filled. After probably spilling out three times more water than I went in there, I'm finally filled up. And I had to put the sides back on. <laughs> Are you serious? There, I'm finally done. It only took me about a gallon of water and a few minutes of frustration to get this filled up. All right, so I'm gonna put it in there and check again tomorrow. I think that it'll probably work tomorrow, but I can already tell you after a couple of tries, some things just probably should not have been invented at all, and this is probably one of them. This is an ice cube tray I bought at the dollar store. I use it probably every day. I do have an ice cube dispenser in my fridge, but this is one I use when I want to do large batches of ice, which is quite often. And so far, this $1 ice cube tray has not failed me yet. But the ice wizards already failed me. I've only used it twice, and I've only gotten a minuscule amount of ice after the first batch. Not a fan. But hey, we'll see how the final batch goes. Maybe I'll be impressed. Probably not. So I just realized the bottom I also need to put on there. So the bottom is on there. Don't worry about that if you saw it lacking the bottom when I closed the freezer. But the ice is now melted. So let's see how much ice it actually made. So as you can see, it made about five ounces of ice. Not very impressive. All that work for five ounces of ice, I think my ice cube trays make double that. Is there any redeeming value to this? Maybe the fact that you could lay it on the side and you could make a bunch of them at once, I don't know. I'm stretching for things that I actually like about this and I'm failing to come up with anything. Just for comparison's sake, let's see how long it takes to fill this $1 ice cube tray. A little bit faster. I don't even think I spilled as much either. Before I open this up, I just wanna say something. Look how cool it looks with this deep blue here and the cool black design. That's the packaging and that's the reality. Reality is not as cool looking. The blue isn't as deep. They have black, I have this kind of ugly, like 90s computer gray look, not good. I just don't like it. I don't like the look. And that's not even considering the function of it. Let's do this second one and then wrap this up. Remove the bottom cover, turn clockwise. So it takes me 10 turns just to get one cube and then it should be easier, right? Let's see. At this point, it's not gonna go down any farther. Actually, if I look in there, this side, the ice is all still stuck in there. It hasn't come out at all. So turning this isn't gonna make it come out of there. So let me pop this off again. Pop this off. If I squeeze it, ah, there we go, okay. Now we're rock and rolling now. All right, that's so easy. Modern technology, I can't, I can't believe I existed without this before. There's my 12 cubes. 
I literally had to take the sides off in order to get those out. Let me just compare something here. All right, I dropped a piece. Bailey just ran off with it. All right, as far as the ice wizard goes, I don't need to see any more. It's not easy to fill. It's not easy to dispense. It only holds five ounces of cubes. It's just not impressive. Compared to a dollar store ice cube tray, it can't even compare. And this cost me $30. It was $19.99 plus $7 shipping. So about it's $27 for this. And it doesn't even really work that well. If you absolutely must get futuristic looking, interesting ice dispenser, I would go with the icebreaker pop, which I'll link in my video where I evaluated this below. This one actually works better than the ice wizard. I'm not sure it's better than normal ice cube trays, but it has a kind of a unique feature to it. You pull this out and the ice dumps out. This was also 30 bucks too. 27, 30, one dollar. Sometimes you just need to go with the classic technology and not try to update things, make them more expensive and less useful. But that's all I've got. If you've tried the ice wizard, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.